I want to go back to your to your last fight if we could. Obviously, a, a huge win for you there. What does what does a victory like that do for you? I think that that kind of helped you grow. Uh, most definitely. I mean, it's exciting um, to take the time off that I did and then to come back with comeback performance like that. I mean, it's pretty much what any athlete wants. And I know you talk, you know, a little bit maybe like mental hurdles or just challenges. Was, did you feel like you kind of broke through with that kind of a victory? Yeah, definitely. Uh, all the challenges that I was facing, um, that really helped me. The mental break for one before that, and then that fight to come back to, it definitely broke through all those challenges. And then after the fight, how does the fight with Holly come back together? Is, did you come back to it and say, I still want that fight, or did it just get presented to you? I did. I, I came back to it. I wanted it. Um, I wanted it from the beginning. And when she got injured, I mean, injuries suck as an athlete, but it happens. So I still said, um, you know, after my head healed, I was like, I still want that fight. So. What is it about the fight that in intrigues you so much? Uh, she's an opponent. I mean, she's a challenge. And she's riding a huge hype train. It's just, uh, it's exciting. I mean, she's coming into my home, so... It's just something that I want to face. What are you expecting from her? Obviously, I mean, she's a, a world-class athlete. She's had world titles, but everybody gets UFC jitters, it seems like. What are you expecting to see out of her? A fight. I mean, I'm expecting her to come out strong. She's a world-class athlete. Uh, she's definitely going to be tough. I mean, a fight's a fight. And, um, but I just plan to be the superior fighter that night. Does being in the co-main mean anything to you, or do you even care about that stuff? Um, it's definitely exciting. It's surreal. I mean, to see how far women's MMA has come. But I try not to think about that too much. I kind of put it off, and then uh, afterwards I'll celebrate and kind of take it all in. How do you win? I win by being the dominating fighter. I win by pushing the pace of the fight and controlling everything. How's it end? How's it end? Yeah. Uh, you know, you could sit here and fantasize a million ways to win a fight, but at the end of the day, it's a fight. You never know. Um, I mean, you could sit here and say a fantasizing win, obviously against a world-class boxer, would be a knockout. Or you can sit here and say with me being a good grappler, a submission, we'll see. What was the experience of today like with all the, the crowd and the media and that sort of thing? What's it like for you? Um, it's definitely a little bit more to handle, especially when you go from a quiet hotel room into a ton of people. But I love being around people, so it's not something that really phases me. Kind of playing into the fact that she is a world-class boxer. Is that something you want to challenge yourself and you want to stand with her? You want to take the fight to the ground? You know, I mean, it's MMA. It's not boxing. So, and when it comes to it, uh, I guess you can say I have more of a brawler style that I definitely tend to bring to the table. I'm not going to sit there and go tit for tat on boxing with her. But uh, I'm not scared if it stays standing or if it goes to the ground. So, what's uh, your tat? Top 18 tat. This is my tat. Tough 18, uh, it's the octagon behind it, and it says every single second, because every single second that you're in the cage counts. When did you get that right to the show? I did. Yep. Why did you get that? Um, it's just kind of something that we all went out and did, a bunch of other girls as well. Uh, it's like that milestone in our life where we got to live our dream and really start chasing it. Um, so it's just something that, to me, is really remembering and important. So, it goes there. You mentioned you have a, more of a brawler style but in your last fight. You showed your the loose finger game and your ground game. Now you pulled up with the Do you think that's showing the, you know, that your game's growing as a fighter? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I think my fight showed a lot. Uh, I may have been up against cage, but even up against that cage, if you know the sport, I was controlling a lot of position. Um, I was really comfortable where I was at. So it wasn't something that really mattered. Uh, but, I mean, you know, there's a lot of tools that I carry in my toolbox that a lot of people haven't seen. So my goal is to bring that fighter from the gym out into the cage. How gratifying was that win also because it is the win with the up for you It meant everything. I mean, every win is a stepping stone. Every loss is a stepping stone. You grow. And just overall, I mean, to be back out there and perform, it was just another highlight in my dream. What did you learn about yourself uh, from that Ultimate Fighter experience? I learned a lot. Um, that was the first time I was really taken out of my comfort zone, and I really had to learn to adapt and grow. I had to spread my wings, something I've never really done as a person in my entire life. So, you know, I mean, it wasn't just a learning experience in fighting, but as a person. Um, I had to challenge myself in a lot of different ways that I think w didn't think was possible, and I overcame most of it. So. I mean, that was something that just really took me from like this level to this level. How much weight do you typically have to cut uh, for um, Every fight I usually cut around 17 to 18 pounds. So I might look small, but uh, I got a lot of muscle. Don't be, uh, 
Don't be fooled. And um, yeah, I still have the weight there. I don't know, it might be my little Mexi roll. And both you and Kat are coming out from Colorado. Uh, between the elevation and the weight cut, are you feeling the The elevation, I mean, every time I go anywhere, it's, it's easy for me. I can go out and I come here, I go anywhere else in the world besides Colorado, and it's just like, I feel like I can run a marathon for days and it just doesn't end. When I go back to Colorado after a long vacation, that's a whole different story. But um, it has no effect on me. You, I think the sea level can kind of counterbalance that. Uh, she seems to be uh, feeling a little bit more. No, I feel actually pretty good. This is the first time the USHM2 is modified as the main artist. What does it mean to you to make one of those? Um, it's, I don't even know how to put this. Um, it's a very monumental weekend for women's MMA, for one. Uh, and to be a part of it, I mean, it's something that's surreal. It's something that I did dream about. I started this sport eight years ago, and I remember making a joke back then. Well, to me, it wasn't a joke, but in everybody else's eyes, it was. I told them, I was like, you know, I'm gonna be one of the first women to the UFC. And they laughed about it, and I was like, okay, you guys think I'm joking. I'm gonna figure this out. I don't know how it's gonna be possible. And uh, you know, here I am. I went through a ton of struggles, uh, through gyms, through coaches. I mean, I battled by being alone before I went on to the Ultimate Fighter. I completely trained myself for that fight um, and was pretty much just doing strength and conditioning with my coach Ray and my boxing coach at the time. And um, now, just to see where I've come from there to here, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's an indescribable yeah. feeling, but I couldn't be more proud of myself. Have you, have you figured out the way, best way to cut weight and all that? Is that it, is it a process that's well scripted for you guys? Um, with me, I have my body figured out, especially scientifically. Uh, I went through a couple few really rough weight cuts and after that, I was just like, you know what, we gotta figure this out. I don't wanna struggle every time because obviously this is where my passion's at, so I'm gonna have to do it a million more times. Um, I have it down. It's, it's easy for me, a lot of people freak out. They're like, how far are you overweight? I could say 20 pounds and they're freaking out and that's a week out. I actually don't start my weight cut until the Thursday before the fight and then I finish that morning. In between that time, I'm, I still hydrate and I still eat just because I have it so down packed. And how many experts are advising you through this whole process? Myself. Uh, I actually was going to school to be a doctor and so like figuring out nutrition and stuff, I mean, that's really worked and nobody knows their body the best except for yourself, so. Um, you know, I may be next, I may be down the road. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, our sport, our division, the 135 pound division, is still growing. So, and I like every challenge that every female brings to the table. Um, my ultimate goal is to obviously fight for the world title. But, I mean, at the same time, I'm not exactly in a hurry to get there. I, just, I mean, whoever comes my way is where I'm at next. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. I'm taking this one.